Well, things are a little cooler here at home. Well, right now, let's head back out to Warner Park where we find 27 Storm Track Chief Meteorologist Cameron Hopman. Hey, Cam. Hey, Brandon. Yeah, it is perfect out here at the Duck Pond. Once again, joining me, the general manager of the Mallards, Sam Rubin. Sam, it has turned out to be a perfect night. It is packed already. Still some empty seats, and there's a lot of baseball still to be played. Yeah, absolutely. Just because the game has started does not mean it's too late to come out here. It's the last game of the year. Um, we still have a few stand seats available. We have. I was just, literally just came over here from pouring beer, so beer is flowing, and we're just ready to ready to get the show on the road. Perfect. Beer is flowing as it should be at the Duck Pond this evening. Uh, we were just talking before we came back. Uh, kind of an interesting playoff picture moving forward tonight. We're looking for our 50th win of the season, but moving into the playoffs, what can we expect here? Yeah, so right now we're fighting for home field advantage. Okay. So we're battling with Wausau. Um, we already have a spot in the playoffs, so we're for sure going, which is very exciting. What we're trying to figure out is which team, us or Wausau, will be at home for the potential clinch at the end of the series. So that's what we're fighting for right now. Um, tonight would be our not only a record for our season and wins, but also we would then win the second half, which at this point doesn't mean a ton. It's more so just really cool to be able to do that. Um, but yeah, playoffs are either Sunday or Monday at 6.05, and we're just kind of waiting to see when that's going to end up. Awesome. Well, Sam, thank you so much. It's going to be a perfect night. Oh, hey, that's me. I'm talking on the screen right now. That's really cool. Sorry, guys. I just heard my own voice. Um, I apologize about that. I get excited. I've been doing this for like 10, 15 years. I still get excited. Um, Sam, thank you so much for joining us. Apologies. Uh, I love it. It's perfect. You're two places at once. It's perfect. Two, two places at one time. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. Let's go Mallards tonight. We're going to take home that W, get that 50th win on what is a beautiful, beautiful Friday evening out here at the Duck Pond. Temperatures right now, according to the 27 Storm Track app and that first pitch temperature, 69 degrees this is a short bit ago and we cannot have asked for a nicer evening out here as yes that sun has come out the skies above the duck pond have cleared and we are looking absolutely perfect now i will say that higher pressure camped out over the great plains will continue to keep the skies clear over the next couple of days even though that cloud cover is cleared up northwesterly winds are a little breezy there's a reason i'm wearing the jacket this evening 68 degrees at six o'clock 62 degrees right around nine o'clock this evening again if you are headed out here it should be a perfect night for baseball beyond tonight though we go into the overnight hours early tomorrow morning combination northerly winds clear skies that's a combination for cooler temperatures we are all the way back down into the upper Upper 40s and low 50s overnight tonight into early tomorrow morning. 51 your overnight low temperature, setting the stage for a bit of a chilly start to the Dane County Farmers Market tomorrow morning. Temperatures at 53 degrees at 7 by 1, right around 70 degrees. Beyond that, more sunshine on tap for tomorrow. High temperatures will be slightly warmer, reaching the upper 60s today. We're talking the low 70s for tomorrow. Expect a high temperature near 72 degrees in Madison by tomorrow afternoon. Let's keep it in the sports family. Notice tomorrow night, still perfect. Forward Madison taking the pitch tomorrow night against the Chattanooga Red Wolves. That's at 7 o'clock. Uh, kickoff right around 7, 68 degrees at that time. By the end of that game, tomorrow evening, right around 62 degrees by 9 o'clock. Now beyond that, looking at Sunday and Monday, plenty of sunshine, pleasant weather. Now Monday evening, we could see chances of rain. But prior to that point, dry weather is anticipated. 76 on Sunday. Monday, a high temperature of 77 with that rain again moving in during the second half of our Monday. By Tuesday, Wednesday, partially sunny skies, but warmer weather back on tap. We're looking at 79 degrees on Tuesday. Wednesday, right around 81 degrees. By Thursday and Friday, temperatures back in the mid to low 80s. So if you are a fan of the warmer weather, don't worry. This cooler air is not expected to stick around forever. We're going to be dealing with chances of warmth and, yes, even more of that rainfall down the road.